clothing helps to sort of helps us to project a sort of uh, interior vision we may have of ourselves out into the world. It's kind of one of the only ways that you can truly express who you are. And I'm Anna and I like these things, so it's like that's the statement that I make every time I put on a different t-shirt or a different pair of jeans or even this book bag, you know? I wear what I wear just to look good. I'm 17, I wear a suit, and that suits me. You know, I use clothing to express myself more than, say, the decor of my apartment. Clothes can sort of be a fun way of expressing yourself, so maybe sometimes I'll wear a jacket out or to work that's maybe a little brighter than it should be, like kind of an electric blue or something. Personal adornment goes beyond clothing for me, so the reason why I usually wear long sleeves at work is because I am covered from shoulder to wrist in tattoos on both arms. Sometimes I wear things that have like animals that I like, like butterflies. But all it really says is I like to look nice. I use my clothes to express myself because I feel that this does show that I'm a very playful and bubbly person, and this is what I feel most comfortable wearing. I feel really uh, graceful when I wear my sari. It just reflects who I am as a person. I feel more comfortable and I feel more confident, and I, I feel more beautiful in a sari. It's deeper than just what you see on the surface. It represents everything I am. One, the A stands for Aaron, that's just who I am. A rock is something that the history that I relate to. Africa is where I come from. The gray is a part of this movie called I See Gray, which means I see humanity. So it all fits together with who I am and who, who the makeup of Aaron Lavender is. You know, usually I don't pay a lot of attention to style or, or clothing, but what's important to me is that I feel comfortable in it and that it, it expresses me. You know, when I'm not working, I like to bum around with regular blue jeans and regular clothes. No ties, none of that stuff. Clothes are functional. I don't find any value in them. I don't find expression in them. I just wear them because I have to. This is what I wear when I make music. It's a Sicilian custom. I make people happy and make pe people smile when I make music. I don't think I'm atypical that I was influenced by something when I was coming of age. If you were to look in my closet, you would, in my closet were to be a movie, it would probably be somewhere between Desperately Seeking Susan and uh, those John Hughes movies from the 80s, like Pretty in Pink. Generation X, yeah. Came up in the hip hop era. That's why I got this medallion. And I kept this from, yeah, 83, my first Run DMC concert. It's so when I go back to that time in my life, that was good times for me. My clothes are my memories. My mom never saved anything, so I have nothing from my childhood. Partly as a reaction to my not having anything from my childhood, we have saved everything. The group of clothes around getting married, not just the wedding dress, also everything that was related to the rehearsal dinner, everything that was related to the shower, everything that was related to the parties, everything related to the honeymoon. Can never get rid of those clothes. Oh yeah, I saved clothes. At home I have my suit when I got married. So my wife one day says I get 125 pounds again. 155. I don't know about the suit. I was married. I still got the suit. I got married. I still got the suit. We save clothes because they're all connected with memories, and it just transports us right back to a, a happier time, a time when something was very special. It feels like a wash of nostalgia comes over you. I saved a T-shirt uh, from the band Sonic Youth. Uh, I was a teenager in the early 90s, and that shirt has kind of been with me all through that time. I will never throw that shirt away. There's something about the fact that you wore it that it's not just something you looked at, but you actually lived in the clothes and you can almost feel yourself being there in that earlier time. I have a few articles of clothing that I no longer wear, but I saved because they mean so much to me. A rabbit costume that my grandmother made for me, uh, and more importantly, for my stuffed animal bear, Sam. She made an outfit, like a little brown coat uh, for Sam, and I made a shrinky dink kind of necklace for him also with Batman on it. So it all really came together very well. Sam still wears that to this day, 41 years later. Uh, and uh, it's now retro hip at this point. The things that I keep to close to my heart is the, is the wedding sari of my grandmother and my mother and mine. These are the special moments in my family. And I have even worn my mother's wedding sari. Even now, because I, I think it's very special and it's close to my heart, and I think it's 
really important. I've saved most of my special occasion dresses that I've worn in the past because they do hold a lot of sentimental value. This dress reminds me of my favorite concert and also because of the shade of red it is, when I look at the dress I remember things like Christmas because I've worn it at Christmas, I've worn it at Thanksgiving, I've worn it at concerts. And why I kept it is because it's special. I'll be honest, I don't actually keep a lot of my clothes. The one time I actually found value in a piece of clothing was when, for my 13th birthday, I got to go to a Manchester United versus Real Madrid friendly soccer game. This is the only piece of clothing I've ever kept. The experience was really amazing. I got to see some of the best players in the world perform, and I got to see Real Madrid lose. My best friend and I woke up one morning and decided we want to go see the ball drop in New York City. We had never been. Um, we had no money, so we drove from Detroit the day before New Year's Eve to New York, stayed overnight, and decided to like do a little shopping in Soho. Why, I don't know. But I got this book bag for like $10. I mean, it's so, look at that. Getting this book bag probably a little bit trumps me actually seeing the ball drop. It just every time I look at it, it just brings this nostalgic feeling, even though it wasn't even that long ago. I also kept the sweatshirt that I got when I went to see the musical Cats when it was first on Broadway. My parents and I took the train up from Washington, D.C. It was impossibly exciting. This was the original cast of Cats. I can no longer fit into it, but I will tell you that in eighth grade at Pyle Junior High, I was a rock star with that Cats sweatshirt. And that sweatshirt meant a lot to me. I've actually brought it on Conan O'Brien's late night show. Um, I got to show it to Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. I think he might have been a little weirded out by it. I think he pointed out that it had a stain on it, and I thought, well, that's not the point. The point is that I still have a cat sweatshirt that I bought in 1983.